Alright, and welcome back to Pat Plays Pokemon Emerald. This is episode 8. Just defeated Brawly. So, thank you, Rope, for that. <laughs> like I said, he was going to come in handy. So, we're pretty happy with this. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and heal up first. And then we're going to continue on with what we were doing. So, I just had a deal with my littlest cat, Jax. Uh, he has been a little bit of a menace this morning. He decided that it was going to be a good idea to try to rip a hole in the wall and then eat the, uh, the, the, like, the wall stuff. I don't know. The plaster, I guess? I don't know. Um, regardless, he thought that was a good idea, so he decided to start doing that, so now we have a bit of a hole in the wall that I've covered over with masking tape. And then he proceeded to try to rip the masking tape off so he could get back to eating the wall. I'm like, dude, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Like, I don't understand that. Like, why are you eating the wall? And then another thing, though, when it comes to him eating stuff, so he tried to eat my wife's bicycle. Um, he just started gnawing on the chain. I'm like, that's not good for you. Stop that. Um, and then he also will not eat food unless his big brother, Reg, um, will eat it first. Did I? I got the soft sand in my... Yeah. yeah. Don't know why I hit A twice. But, yeah. Okay, and then I think I fought everybody here. Did I fight this guy? Yeah. Uh, and then I fought this guy, and then these, uh, these two, which I think I fought, yeah. So, yeah, I think I fought everyone on this route. So we'll just move on. Uh, oh yeah, I need to talk to Stern down here first. When I first played this game, uh, it took me forever. Like, and I'm not kidding. It took me forever to figure out exactly what I needed to do. Oh, this isn't starting. This is Doc. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... And, and again, it, the thing is, though, with this generation, it has very little in the ways of, like, guiding you exactly where you need to go. And I do appreciate that a lot. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, before we go into this next battle, I want to make sure that I've got Hylian out front. Got the girl crowd here. Nemo's just the only guy here. Hey, don't, don't don't worry about Dave. He doesn't really count. Uh, oh no, it's this guy, isn't it? Yeah. So this guy, if you talk to him, he gives you um, the. <laughs> so it's a good uh, it's a good move, especially if you're trying to farm wild items. Well, we might be using it in the future. Um, so if you talk to this guy, that um, starts this little cutscene here, where you get a couple aqua grunts in here, and they're pretty easy. It's just uh, the first one has a Carvanha, and then the second one has a Zubat and a Carvanha, so it's not hard at all. So, like I said, not gonna be difficult at all. We're gonna be able to take this guy out fairly quickly with just Hylian. Um, I think. So, nothing really to worry about here. But yeah, so, uh, hopefully you guys saw Draft Mode, um, Finale. We had a lot of fun making that. I think it was a little bit more interesting than our previous couple episodes. Um, for sure, it was, uh, it, it was definitely a joy to, uh, <laughs> to have that battle. But, going forward, we're actually switching things up a little bit, and we're moving to the Pokemon Trades trading card game for this next season. And basically, uh, we'll just be pulling, you know, 10 packs there because of the difference in cards and everything like that. And uh, we will be doing different generations, and it'll have like a wheel thing, and uh, it'll be a little, bit, a little bit more random. And then also, if you're into that kind of stuff, we also have a Pokemon progression project getting started on the Twitch channel, so definitely go check that out if you guys are interested. Um, we're still trying to figure out exactly when that will be. I'm hoping for next Wednesday. Should be, um, should be good, so it'll ha come out like right before this, uh, before episode nine, I guess, rather. But yeah, so. You guys are at all a fan of, of general Pokemon stuff. Wait, does this person not have a... Oh, he had two Carvana, what? Okay, well, that's fine. I thought he just had one. Uh, so I'll just quick attack him. Wow, okay, that was a lot of damage already. And then I'll hit him, hit him with the absorb. 
Not a, not necessarily the best decision there, I guess, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why I thought he had two, but I guess he only has one. Or, or I thought he had one. I guess he only, he has two. So it's fine. Getting a lot of experience here on Highland. It's gonna be very necessary because the I I'm a, we haven't lost anyone yet. I think we will most likely lose somebody when we fight May for the third time. I always forget that Emerald has that extra one. It's metal. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we were fighting the... <laughs> we were fighting the other guy, too. Okay, so I'm just completely confused as to what was going on. I was just hitting A that whole time. Uh, yeah. So, again, you know, once you get Pokemon that are pretty strong, like Hylian here, it's just like... I can walk over the majority of the other trainers here. But, now that we've defeated those guys we can actually move on and move past Slateport City, which I'm very excited about. So. Oh, thanks for the heal, buddy. Didn't really need it, but that's okay. So, the goal here, because, so the Pokemon that May is going to have, and we want to orient our team around that, is going to be a Wilmer, a Shroomish, and a Combuskin. The Wilmer's going to be pretty easily taken care of by Hylian. Shroomish will have to be taken care of by a combination of Rope and Nemo. And then I think we're going to need everybody for the Combuskin. So let me just check the moveset here I got real quick. So Thunder Wave, this is going to be big. If I can get uh, Sparky up to, I want to say like level 16, level 17, level 18, somewhere around there. Uh, I could Thunder Wave the Combuskin and then maybe get a couple of Leers off or something. Then we could really see some damage coming out here on that Combuskin. Thunder Wave is going to be pretty big just to keep him in check. So let me see. Does... What does Rope have? Okay, Gust, Stun Support. Okay, we can also do that with, with her. But uh, the problem is that uh, Kombuskin does Fire-type moves, and she will get absolutely wrecked. So, but... Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's Fighting Fire, so I guess I could use Sparky, Thunder Wave, and then switch into Wingull and finish him up there. So I think that that might be what we end up doing. So Rope will have to be used to take out that Shroomish then. Which is fine. I love how it says Roger the Scott person. I just thought that was just the funniest thing, because he's kind of like a super famous battler guy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't know when, like, you can do the first... I'm gonna look this up between episodes, but I don't know when you can do the first, like, gym challenge. Or, or rematch, rather, I guess. Oh. Before we head up, I need to remember to get the mail here. And this is another thing, like, that now that I know how to play this game, like, when I first did this, this was, like, a whole thing. Uh, I have to say, every time I play... Um... You guys will see why I'm getting this in a bit. Uh, but every time I play this, uh this game, like, Pokemon Emerald, it always just reminds me of spring, and I don't know why. Like, I have, like, an idea, but I'm not entirely sure why. It reminds me of spring every single time. So, anyway, as you can see, uh, the people that were here are now gone, so we can proceed. Uh, yeah, of course. I can't be hanging out with a girl. They have cooties. So, uh, now, everyone's just registering me. I'm just so popular. They're like, you got two gym badges? You must be really cool. We need to, we need to register you. So, we got a double battle coming up here. Should be pretty easy. Uh, I believe they just have, like, puzzles and items, so... <laughs> which are, like, just... Like, they don't do anything at this point. I don't even know if they have, like, electric-type moves. I think they just have, like, static or whatever. So, but the thing is, though... If they're both on the field at the same time, then they will be getting a uh, bonus to their damage, so I want to make sure that I take them out as soon as I can. So, but I do, okay, I really hope that it, they're going to both use Helping Hand. Excellent, yep. <laughs> this is the thing with the AI, because we're getting into, like, better AI now. So the game goes, oh, we should probably use, like, you know, double battle moves in a double battle. So, but both of them go, yeah, we should probably use double battle moves in a double battle. So they both end up uh, using Helping Hand, which is just freaking hilarious to me. Yeah, here he goes again. Then this is what they're gonna do because they because they, they look at it that way. 
So I'm just gonna get a, I'm gonna get a couple leers off here because I think they're just gonna be consistently using helping hand. So I think I think constantly leering is gonna be a little bit more efficient use of my time. Well, just quick attack again. Uh, yeah, no, we'll use leer again. Please, can, can we do a three peat? No, okay, it was a growl. Still, I haven't gotten any damage done to me. <laughs> so, not a problem. I'm totally okay with this. So, in, the, in these kind of situations when there's not, like, really a Pokemon that I'm trying to take out necessarily that's a threat, I just want to eliminate one of the trainers. So then they only. I'm all, it's like a 2v1 for the rest of the game. So if I just gang up on one of them, then it should be fine. Doesn't work necessarily like against like one person in your Nodal Vital situation, but it's like Liz and Tate later on in the game, this is not gonna work. So we'll get that leer off here. You know, I don't really see a need for gem right now, so I think I'm gonna switch out for Spark and get that extra XP. Oh wait, this is Hyland first. Okay, oh crap, come on. Uh, yeah, I'll click attack him. He's probably gonna die in one hit. Um, as uh, as my French Shanks would say, he's one shot. So, I'd have to imagine him. he's being leered like four times. So, quick attack coming out here. Oh no, okay. Oh, here comes the Thunder Wave. And this is the most annoying part about like this portion of the game is like every single Pokemon I'm gonna fight has Thunder Wave. So I'm just gonna constantly be getting paralyzed. I'll have Sparky do the same thing, just leer everything. There's a lot of trainers though, so we will be getting a lot of XP going forward. And uh, yeah, so this is how this fight's gonna go. Uh, if I had uh, if I had Marshtomp or Aeron, I think this fight would go a lot faster, because both of them have ground type moves. But, you know, we're going as fast as we can. Hey, let's go, baby. And that is a problem. Th these growls are going to be very annoying. But I don't think that they have very good stats regardless. They haven't hit me once, so... Yeah. Uh, we'll just take out the minum because it's blue. Yep. See, and I just love this. I just it's just constantly just helping hand, helping hand, helping hand. That's all they do. But I would love for Highland to not be paralyzed. That would be very nice. Uh, of course it's got an orange barrier or whatever. We'll do one more of those, and then I think I might actually switch Hylian out for someone. Uh, just to get the XP spread around a little bit more. Because May is going to have two level 18s and a level 20, so... If, uh... If I can get at least two of my Pokemon to be level 18, then I think I, I, I should be fine. The rest are on, like, level 16. That should be an okay spread. To be able to take on... Uh, the most thing I'm most worried about is definitely the Kabuskin. The Combuskin's gonna be a huge problem. And I'm saying this now, and it's gonna be like the Shroomish is a bigger issue than the Combuskin. Like, the Combuskin's like easy to handle, you know? So, nah, I just, I think I'll just keep Hyland out there. Keep, let Sparky get all the XP. Oh, wow. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> that last puzzle fell in like one move, so, pretty happy about that. Oh, Jim got some XP off of that. That's always good to see. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna actually run down there, and I'm gonna pick up some Paralyzed Heals. And, uh, I did not want to register, but that's okay. She's got red eyes. Do you see that? Red eyes. So, we're just gonna run down here. I'll, um, heal up really quickly, get all that PP back, and 
maybe Paralysis, and then I'll pick up uh, some Paralyzed Seals as well. By the way, sorry for this episode coming out a little bit late. I um, had a bit of a sore throat this last week, so I wasn't able to record uh, fairly well. And I think I might sound still a little bit under the weather, so I apologize for that. Yeah, I don't think that's overkill. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I'm going to definitely need a lot of these. I'll just grab 18 of them. And then I can definitely use some Great Balls. I'll just grab 10. So, that way we're efficiently using our monies. So, I'm sure that there's still a bunch of stuff that we can sell, but I don't really care. Let's see. Um, I'll, I'm going to take out the trainers to the left and then go in the trick room. Also, this is another good point why you should have cut. <laughs> you should have a cutter on your team. Almost at all times, because there's so many like little extra stuff you can go get. And some extra XP, which is always good. So we've got Guitarist, Marcos, and Black Belt, and Rat. So we have Mukahita and a Voltorb. So we need to take out that Voltorb quickly. Uh, charging, it's going to be a uh, more effective electric type move. I don't think that he'd be able to one shot gem even with that. But if both of them hit gem, then yeah, but I don't think Mukahita has an uh, attack that can even hit gem at this point. We'll go for the scratch, I think that's going to be a little bit more damage with the leer. Okay, yeah, you just use tackle. Sounds good. That sucks. Stupid sand attack. Okay, we're gonna switch out gem for spark. Just in time for Voltorb to die, so then spark gets even more XP. Yep, 219. That's a lot of XP. That's good. Love to see it. And then Sparky also has a higher attack value, so I think that this is definitely better. Dick. Darn it. The freaking sand attack is so annoying. Oh, crap. I think five would kill him. Oh, yeah, definitely now. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Well, that was terrifying. Uh, so this is why I bought all those super potions. Of course you missed. You worthless piece of crap. Alright! Well, this Mukahita is a lot more of an issue than I thought. Holy crap. Please die. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I think absorb. Okay, good. I was like, as long as it connects, I think we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. Um, and it did, so we're fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine, guys. Okay. Thank thank God. All right. That Mukahita was a lot more of an issue than he should have been. So yeah, we're definitely a little bit on the under leveled side because I haven't really been grinding because. Pure skill will get us through this. So, I'm definitely playing fast and loose here with this does luck. So, pick up the Leppa Berries and the Raspberries. I think these are Raspberries, at least. I know what a Leppa Berry looks like because I used to farm them when I was uh, trying to get uh, all 200 Pokemon. Oh, these are Cherries. Okay. Whew. That was a little bit of the edge of my seat there for that, uh, <laughs> that Mukahita. That was not fun. 
So I'll pick up all these items over here, and then we can finish off the rest of these, these trainers over here. So that guy's got like a Pikachu or whatever. So this person's got grass types, so I think I want to switch out for rope. Get ropes more, more, more experience, more levels. No, I did not. Please go away. You're creeping me out. So, it's too much coming in here. I mean, this is going to be good practice to see how well, uh, how well Rope does against Shroomish. Okay, alright, so he's going to do very well. Got it. <laughs> that is because Shroomish is a physical defender. Um, he's got very high physical defense. He's not a very high special defense, so... Although, it doesn't matter because Gust is a physical move, so... Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'm still thinking with Gen 4 logic. I'm also doing a Gen 4 Nuzlocke right now, so I've got that confusing me. So Roselia coming out here. Roselia is a lot of XP, so I do love seeing that. Annoying, but a lot of XP. So we'll take it out. Wow, all right, Rope, you are a little bit too strong right now. <laughs> Although, again, you did single-handedly carry us to victory in the last gym battle, so that does make a lot of sense. So if this connects, battle's over. If it doesn't connect, we're in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so we are in a little bit of trouble. Not good. Okay, I think I can do one more turn. Yeah, because Poison Thing is, like, not going to do any damage. It's a physical-type move. So. Okay, perfect. And then we'll, we'll heal up rope here. Yeah, 228 XP, that is a lot. Because you have to remember, though, like, that's split. So that's 228 XP uh, going to two different guys. Um, so we are going to have a couple of Electro types. And I don't have anything good against Electro types right now. So, and I know Dave's a ground type, but like he's level six, so no. <laughs> And I don't think we're ever going to really be using them. Uh, I don't want to use PP up on anything right now. Apparently so, there we go. Uh, I'll use a potion, just get just get highly up to full. My team's a little bit of a mess right now, but, you know, we're working on it. So I believe these two people have uh, plus one item again. So hopefully we can see that helping hand crab. Yep, so plus one mile coming out here. Um, I'm really hoping to see Helping Hand five times in a row, like just like last fight. Uh, we're gonna Leer uh, both of these guys. Yep, here we go. Here it comes. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Let's go! Helping Hand! <laughs> Best move in the game. It's definitely not very good at all. You should never use this in a double battle. <laughs> The Pokemon that learn it, too, are not, like... Like, I could see using it, like, for someone that's, like, a... You, you use it on someone who's a tank. And, uh... That person... Uh, like, uh, like they buff someone who's, like, a sweeper. But... No, they don't. None of them, none of them are tanks. Oh, screw you for that growl. At least, I think... I think Spark would be able to kill him here. All right, Sparky's just like kind of just surging here. Um, so I'm gonna take out this Minum. I'm hoping that he uses Helping Hand again, even with no target. Nah, just Grout, okay. I was gonna say, if he uses Helping Hand with no target, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's awesome. Not for him, for me. Take him out. All right. Sparky's just kind of, like, really putting in a lot of work here. Oh, crap. Someone's gonna come find me because I registered, like, 12, um, two-year-olds. Oh, crap. Forgot about this guy. Mr. Five-Head over here. Oh, Skitty's coming out. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. That I can handle pretty easily. Just absorb. 
absorb multiple times, and then I think that's just kill. I really need to get Leaf Blade soon on, on Hylian. I know it's not for a little while, but uh, I think it's like in the like early 30s, late 20s when he gets Leaf Blade, but it's a very good move. Particularly in this generation when it's a special type. So like I said, I can handle Skitty pretty easily. It's just, it's crap. <laughs> Skitty's not very good. For how rare it is, it is really, really bad. Same thing with, like, Surskit. I have no idea why Surskit's like a 2% or a 1% or whatever. In, like, Route 104. Okay. Uh, and then this guy's got fishing, or water Pokemon. Fishing Pokemon, yeah. I mean, they are fish, but he's got water type Pokemon, so. Should be pretty easy to handle. Oh, this must be, okay. This is the 5, 10, 15 Magikarp guy. I hopefully. So, Patrick from, you know, like five episodes ago. That this is the guy. I hope so. If everyone I, might not be. I know one of them exists. No. Okay, so I'm wrong. Again. Maybe it's 5, 10. Okay, 5, 10 with Tentacool, and then the next one is a level 15 uh, uh, Magikarp. I'm using uh, Pursuit instead of... Oh, jeez. I'm using Pursuit instead of uh, Absorb because I don't want to get hit by Liquid Ooze and then just take more damage. Because then uh, you, like, take damage for how much you would have healed or something like that. And that just would have been not good. So let's take out Tentacle here. Get that spicy XP. Level 19. Let's go, baby. Okay, so, so this is 5, 10, 50 with a tentacle of 10. Okay. Makes sense. Pretty easy. It's Magikarp, so it wasn't too concerned in the first place, but yeah. Waste of, uh, waste of Pokemon, though, gives me, like, no experience, which is kind of upsetting. Yeah, that guy just talks about how he, like, wants to go across or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, and then we'll head to the Trick House. And he's hiding under the, that table. Oh, okay, so when I said that last guy had five head, this guy's got, like, a ten head. What the heck's going on here, buddy? I'll tell my wife, if I ever go bald, I'm just gonna, like, shave. If I start, like, going going bald, you know, like, getting a bald spot or whatever, I'm just gonna shave off my whole head, and I'm just gonna hit the gym, like, five times more than I do right currently. I'm gonna get huge. For In the last six years, I've gained something like 70 pounds, and, like, it's basically almost all muscle. Which I know is weird, because I'm playing Pokemon, and that's, like, generally not something that, like, you would expect. But I did weigh like 100 pounds. <laughs> so we're gonna switch out here for rope, and then rope's just gonna clean up uh, this oddish here. Um, so that kind of sucks. I do not like being poisoned here. Oh my god, why did I use poison? Here? You suck. Gust, take him out. Let's go, Rope. Rope is like very quickly becoming an MVP. Rope, Sparky, and Hylian are really like top tier right now for my team. Wingle, or Nemo rather, I was I mix up calling them nicknames or names, whatever. Um, Nemo's gonna come in handy later, um, so I do not want to get rid of him at all. I want to keep leveling him up be very very useful against uh, the fourth gym so and I guess kind of against the sixth or the seventh rather so but then after that it's kind of useless so uh, other than being like a surfer and a flyer so that's just good I mean it can do both of those perform both functions so this is the trick house uh, basically I think I'm just gonna go through it oh crap I gotta heal right I'm going to go through it, and it's going to be a little bit of a longer episode because I want to get the trick house finished um, by the time that 
you know, uh, before before next episode. So apologies for a little bit of a longer episode, unless it's something you enjoy, which in that case, you're welcome. So we got two more trainers in here. We got someone dude with like two zigzagoons, which is awesome. Much respect for him. He's right there. He's right at the top. Um, and then we have another chick that's got a Skidia, Shroomish, and a Meryl. So, for that guy, I think I'm actually going to have Sparky out in front. Yeah, there's, there she is. I do like this trick house. It's, it's, it is pretty fun for me. Okay, what he just said there... Like, I wandered in this weird house by accident. It, okay, we well should probably call the authorities. So I'll help with tackle, see how much damage it does. Okay. See how much damage he does to me. He gets paralyzed. That's another reason why Spark is amazing. My neck trick is probably one of my favorite um, electric types, I have to say. I really I, I like a majority of the Gen 3 designs. I think that they all look really clean. So we're going to get a double howl in here. Uh, boost our attack because the next thing is going to come out. We can just do the same thing to it. That's not fun. I hate seeing sand attack. I hate that move. It should be banned. Yep, see, this is exactly why. Because it's going to make every single attack that I ever have miss. God darn it. Okay. Well, at least that went through. And he's paralyzed. So this is just going to be me missing and him getting paralyzed. <laughs> so, or, or, or hitting me for everything. So, sounds good. That should get a decent amount of XP out of that. Okay, 180, not too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just switch to hide. Screw it. No reason to stay in there and just, like, muck about. Because, I mean, I should be able to get enough EXP for them to get to the next level anyway, so... Whatever. Just absorb them to death. Zigzagoon is, in case you don't know this, Zigzagoon is my favorite Pokemon. My desktop background is a Zigzagoon. Uh, I just, I think it's absolutely adorable. I'm really upset that we don't have one on our team, but I'm not going to be too mad about it. I love Zigzagoon. It's just, it's just so cute. Look at it. It's an absolute cute little guy. It's definitely the best, like, generic, like, normal type. Oh, Quick Attack. Excellent. So Sparky's learning an actual move. Uh, yes. Let's see. Well, it's significantly better than Tackle, and I don't need the extra PP, so. And I want to keep Thunder Wave on there, yeah, along with Leer and Howl. They're all very useful utility moves. Um, Howl's going to be... I'm going to replace Howl with Spark when he learns Spark. Okay, and then I think this is the way to the door, so I'm going to need to turn around and go back. Uh, let me orient my team real quick. Yeah, yeah, we can have Spark in the front. That's fine. And then I want to heal him though. Uh, no, I'll just use my other potion. He's got 20, missing 20. All right. So we'll just continue on this way then. Um, I don't care about the items in here. They're all male. At least I'm pretty sure. So, it does not, does not, yeah, okay, there, there's the paper. So she's got a Skitty, a uh, Meryl, and a Shroomish. I'm just gonna keep quick attacking, um, and I can quick attack the rest of the Pokemon here. Doesn't matter about Tail Whip, I'm not too concerned about it, unless he has Double Slap and kills me. It most likely does. Tail Whip, okay. So I should be doing double damage now, and get double damage dealt to me, I think. Sing, haha, that did not connect, you suck. I hate Sing, I hate 
I hate it when they uh, negatively affect me. When I negatively affect them, it's all skill. When they negatively affect me, it's all luck and chance. That is how this works. So we'll just quick attack. Oh, here comes the leech seed. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Of course, of course. You know, I should have seen this coming. Well, you little bastard. I'm really hoping for a crit here. I don't even know if I'll be able to kill him on one more hit. Because the leech seed's gonna heal up, and then he just uses Adorb, so. It sucks. Alright. Nope. Yep, so it's gonna take it one more, and then I'm getting stunned. You suck. I wanna finish you off here. See, I told you those tail whips didn't do anything, because this person's just gonna use absorb the whole time. Alright. Thank God. This annoying little piece of crap is dead. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch out because my guy's like paralyzed, and all kinds of things are going on that I don't like. Not very enjoyable. Not very enjoyable. So here comes the Meryl. Needs absorb. Okay. Was hoping for a one shot, but you know, I'll take two. I guess. Not like I can do anything about it, really. But taking out that Meryl. Thank God, and you should be punished for eternity because of your shrinkage. I do not feel bad for you. I don't know how you get lost in this. Like, this is like... Okay, to be fair, I do get lost at corn bases a lot. But, uh, very clearly you can find your, to find your way out. You know, it's not that hard. So, that's just a piece of mail, so nobody cares. And now I can get out of the trick house and I can go get my reward. Give me my reward. What is it? Oh yeah, I remember what it is. It's a rare candy. Thank you. So that's gonna come in handy uh, once Sparky is like one level before learning um, Spark, then I'll probably teach it to him. So, or I'll probably level him up so that he learns it right. So, and uh, now I have to walk, you know, the 10 miles back to the front door, which is always very annoying. So, let me see. I don't think I can take on the next Trick House challenge, because I think it Trick House technically unlocks after gym. Yep, yep, yeah, okay. Just want to make sure. The second gym. So, before we will not be moving on past this, I think this is where we'll end it today. It's a little bit of a longer episode. Thank you guys for all of the support on the channel. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe down below. Uh, I would really appreciate that. This has become rapidly the most popular series we have here if you're interested in anything else that we're doing please check out draft mode please check out our card openings and check out malcast um, also catch us on twitch where we stream several times a week in case you want to see anybody here at Mile media regardless thank you guys and have a wonderful rest of your guys week